Hey, welcome to Student Ministry That Matters. I'm Ben Trueblood. Today, we're gonna give you five reasons why you should address the culture in your ministry. All right, so here we go. We're gonna count down. I guess because there's five, we may as well count them down, right? Reasons that you should address culture in your ministry. Number five. And this one is a little bit of a foundational work here, so just go with me. Do the research on the culture. So before you ever start to address it, you need to make sure that you're researching the culture, uh, that you know about what's happening in the lives of your students. And one of the greatest ways that you can do this is simply by gathering small groups of students and asking them questions. At the beginning, it may feel a little awkward and it may sound like you're an old just uh, tell me what's going on in your age group. Like it may feel a little weird to you, but you're gonna learn so much as you just ask simple questions about what students are dealing with and then that information can feed its way into your research and what you're talking about with your students, which leads us to the number four reason you should address the culture in your ministry because your students are in the culture. They need to see you and hear you taking God's word and using it like we say all the time. Live your life according to God's word. Well, they're living their lives in the middle of the culture. And if we don't connect those dots for them, if we don't say like, hey, here's God's word, here's how you connect it to the things of your life, then they're not gonna be able to do that. It's a learned skill. So you should address the culture in your ministry because your students are living in the culture. They need to see how God's word intersects with their everyday lives. There are issues that they care about that God's word speaks to, and you need to help them do that work. The number three reason is because it's a great way to serve your parents. You can lead an effective parent ministry in one part by helping them have insight into the culture in which their teenagers live. For the most part, parents are kind of disconnected from their teenagers' culture. Um, and, you know, there's a little bit of work that they could do, certainly, but in partnership with the church and the home, this is a place where you can step in and take the information that you're getting from teenagers and say, hey, Parents, this is what's going on in the culture. This is what your teenagers are dealing with right now. And these are some of the things that we're doing as a church to address those. And we'd like to partner with you in that. You can be the subject matter expert on the culture that your parents need to help them parent their own teenagers. All right. So number three, because you can serve your parents well by addressing the culture with them. Number two, you should address the culture because the culture isn't a bad word. See, in the church, sometimes we fall into this pattern of using the culture as a hammer. The culture is terrible. The culture is coming to get you. The culture is awful. And I want to caution us there. There are good things about culture, too. There are good things that are happening in the world that we need to be aware of. And if we always talk about the culture in terms of evil, 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 stay away. It's coming to get you. The culture is this horrible thing that's going to eat you alive. If that's all we talk about, then we're setting up a divisive us versus them mentality. That's not what we're meant to do. We are not to develop an us versus them mentality in terms of the church and culture. No, you should address the culture because the culture isn't a bad word. You should address the culture because the students in your ministry live in it. They need to understand it. They need to know how God's word intersects with it like we talked about before. And they need to be able to stand in the middle of culture and be able to use God's word as a filter to see which things go against God's word and which things they can engage in and enjoy in the culture, which leads us ultimately to the number one reason. The number one reason you should address the culture in your ministry is because you need to equip teenagers to be missionaries in the culture. See, this goes straight from our number two. If we always set up a divisive us versus them mentality, church versus the culture, then that's not developing missionaries to go into the culture with a loving mind and a loving heart to share the gospel through the context of relationships. What it does is it turns them inward. It turns the culture as an enemy of ours. And those, listen, there are things that are out there that are enemies of our faith, but can I just tell you, they're not people. And many times we confuse that. But we don't wage war against flesh and blood. Jesus didn't come to condemn the world. 
but to bring the world to repentance. And so why should we add our condemnation on top of condemnation that's already there? Your students are meant to be missionaries in the culture. So am I, so are you. And when we set up this divisiveness, this us versus them, we take them out of the mission field. We take them out of this missionary role in their community, in their culture. And we teach them that people don't have value. And that's not what we want to do. So we address the culture. We show them how God's word interprets, how God's word guides, how God's word is the final authority. We teach them how to engage, how to see which things in the culture they can enjoy and which things in the culture they need to say, no, that goes against God's word. We teach them that people aren't what we wage war with and that we are to go into the culture as missionaries, not shrink away from the culture and hide behind our church walls. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it serves you well. I'd love to hear how you address culture in your ministry in the comments down below. Help us grow as a community together. Hit like, subscribe, and don't forget the little bell on your way out so that you know when our new video is released. We'll see you next time.